right now. Uh, in it are some interesting items. Uh, one of them is a uh, sap field of oils of coconut, palm, and safflower, shea butter, glycerin, sorbitol. Now, when I read the sorbitol, I kind of remembered that uh, Goldstein had a reaction to a soap, and I just wondered to know if it had the sorbitol in it. Uh, this also has a wheat product, uh, resol clay and fragrance. My first impression of it is it's a really, uh, it's a really nice uh, manly scent. It's kind of like leather, kind of like maybe a little bit of whiskey put in there, something like that. But it's just really a rugged smell. Uh, I also got to accompany the soap was the Madame Scodioli aftershave both in dust shaker and look at this bottle isn't that just a gorgeous just almost a raunchy bottle man that's just a really hardcore looking uh, bottle and just fits so nicely with the theme for them to seal the bottle they put on some he-man style 3m electrical tape which I can appreciate. Now, I haven't tabbed this off. I haven't used any of this stuff. I haven't smelled it, nothing. Uh, so this is going to be... Smells quite a bit different than the soap. <clears throat> and I will stress once again that whatever a soap smells like in the dish doesn't necessarily mean it's going to translate that way on your face. Same thing with the cologne. So I'm excited. I'm excited to use it. <clears throat> Today, I'm going to be shaving with my fancy, ooh, I better tighten that up. My fancy smancy Philharmonica with my new scales. Is So, let's get going. Today, I'm using my two band badger brush from Art of Shaving. Use some of the bloom water to hydrate my face. Oh man. If that's what the bloom water does, I can imagine the lather I'm going to get. <clears throat> so let's work it, huh? And he said, it's not good for man to be alone. I've always taken that at heart because I got a divorce when I was in college and I was uh, pretty heartbroken. I wrote a poem. The uh, main theme of the poem was, everything about me is about companionship. And that's, <clears throat> that's how it is with me. Uh, my wife, Michelle... Uh, when I first met her, I, I she definitely wasn't my type, man. You know, I mean, first time I met her, I was, I was in my place of business, and I can hear the the doorbell go off, and I was in the back room, and I started walking towards the towards the uh, entry there, and uh, I heard all these water bottles just crash into the floor, and I'm like, going, oh God, what the heck? Walked out there, and there she was, you know, like just struggling to pick up all these bottles as fast as she can so she can like make it right or something you know it's funny to watch her just really hustling and she she uh, standing there just watching her and she uh, was uh, she kicked this bottle this water bottle across the floor <laughs> it was so funny I'm thinking get this woman out of here right <laughs> and so uh, anyway I was a gentleman you know and I, uh, I did what I, what I did, and I got her going. She, she came back, and she kept coming back for water. And, uh, and uh, here's what it's looking like so far. It's looking pretty good. I think I need a little more water. Um, and she just kept coming back, and she was really nice, real affable and everything, and real intelligent. Just always smiling, you know, and... 
And one day I just I just looked at looked right in her eyes. I was standing like probably two feet away from her. I just looked right in her eyes and I just saw something absolutely godly about her. And that's all it was, you know. That was 16 years ago, and I'm still with her. And every every every, every like every three times a year, something happens, and I'm totally amazed by her. It's like that song, you know, like a hurricane. I'm just blown away, you know. And 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 the funny thing about it is, she's always smiling, you know. And if you were to, to if someone were to walk up to me who knew my mother in the past. And they'd always say she was always smiling. And I've started to look closer at my wife and comparing her to my mother. And I swear they are identical. Attitude. I mean, my mother's got that fire in her heart and so does Michelle. And it's just, uh, you know, it's great. So, let's get the shave on, huh? Before she comes home and catches me with new products and fires me up. <laughs> anyway, great woman, man. I hope everyone can experience the, the joy of having someone completely reliable in your life and and feel that deep love. I mean, it's just there's you, you can't trade anything for it, you know. I mean, it's God's gift to man, you know. It's like, you know, he, it's not good for a man to be alone. All right. All right, doesn't smell like it was in the package. The smell is incredible. Oh, man. Here, you know, uh, smell, scent. so much to do with our senses it brings back memories it brings back you know good and bad memories it brings back here we go boys and girls this is my third shave of this You know, I don't know if I want to trade trade James for <clears throat> for uh, for his TI for this balancing bitty. <clears throat> Since I'm shaving so far away from the mirror, I'm going to try to put on my glasses this time. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's better. Now, two feet away don't seem to matter so much. <laughs> Alright, here's my initial thought on the soap. I love the smell. The smell is like, is like, you know, if you're single and you wear this, you know, you're going to get girls looking at you or sniffing you anyway but the slickness is the slickness uh, is good while you're shaving but it's uh, it's not doesn't stay on your face you know what I mean so that's what I'm thinking about this so far uh, little note about some of my pictures, especially this last one with this side-by-side -side and the guitar, all that. 
almost every picture I put out there, every item in then pictures has some major significance in my life. <clears throat> nice lather, I tell you. Really happy with the soap. Really starting to fall in love with this razor. Man, pretty good. I'm actually shaving in my phone. I'm not even hardly looking at my. Get all the soap off, pass. and I will give you a final analysis. Apply my magic potion. In the cologne, I will inform you on Michelle's reaction. Okay, I only did two passes. Of course, I got Spanish still, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So smooth is as hell, of course. Top notch, man. I'll tell you. Uh, Dust Shaker by Madame Scolioli is... Um, excellent soap. The smell is just enchanting. The, sh the smell is just, it just makes you feel like you're doing something. I always have a habit of just putting out. this aftershave on like it's, like it's bomb, man. And it's got some excellent ingredients to it. This stuff here has got uh, Hamelis Virginiana, which is witch hazel, distillate, uh, Aloe, leaf juice, glycerin, uh, calendula, phileus, flower, calendula, extract, hippo, hippophay, uh, something, buckthorn, extract, and fragrance. Buckthorn, extract, and fragrance, I should say. I'm going to shake it up a little bit. Oh, it smells like vanilla a little bit now. It's really, uh, I don't know if you can see, see that so much, but it looks like it's separating a little bit. Mmm, wow. Ah, man, it smells like chili a little bit to me. Alright man, I'm feeling pretty damn good. I'll tell you what, man, this is Guy Solis, uh, gentleman Ed, Gentleman's Edge here in Denver, Colorado. Stick around, I'm going to do a pomade review next. So let me go download this video, I'm going to dry my hair, and we're going to go blow and go, huh? Take care, man.